In part one of this podcast, entitled Wizard's Kingdom and subtitled Characters, I explained how I wrote in 2004 the Wizard's Kingdom trilogy. Uh, first one came out in 2005, in which I had a band of wizards who were trying to save the kingdom. Now, I had Lord Tosk, who was the overseer. I had Zendal, who was in charge of uh, his two underlings. I had Crassmont, who was the um, his best friend and his uh, a dumpy kind of comedy wizard. And then I had Maida, who was the young athletic type, but also an inexperienced wizard who had to learn off the other two. Now, what I didn't mention was there are other key characters in the story as well. You can't have, in my opinion... A happy, fluffy, magical story with nothing happening and it just flows along and it's just boring, basically. So I introduced an evil character, a dark, sinister character. I called him Evelyn, which, like I said, when I first wrote the story, I might have been a bit naive when I did that. But I just, it popped into my head that it was evil one, Evelyn, if you know what I mean. So... I wanted uh, a bad wizard to bring evil doings into the adventure. But I pictured somebody just a little bit different to your normal evil character. I wanted this wizard to be different to the stereotypical wizards you get in um, the old adventures. So this wizard actually, he wasn't tall and slight with a long pointy beard and a long face and a pencil moustache. No, this one was a little bit different. I asked the artist, who is my best friend, Derek Jones, he came up with something which was a little bit different. And the character that came from that was a shorter, bald wizard, actually, with a round head, kind of like... um, Uncle Fester of the Adams Family, a series from the 60s. And this character was going to be the one that brought the downfall to Wizard's Kingdom. He wanted to take over the kingdom for himself. In order to do that, he had to break away from the other wizards and create his own army. And this is what he did. He created um, a band of trolls who were on the ground, his army on the ground, to uh, cover everything and search everywhere. And he also created, magically, kites, flying creatures, that looked a bit like a dog, with no teeth, but sharp claws that could fly over the kingdom and pinpoint any areas where the wizards were fleeing to and they couldn't hide from them. Now, Evelyn has the orb. He's taken over Lord Tosk's castle and he's imprisoned Lord Tosk in his own dungeon. Now, the story started to really evolve when I brought the dark character in because he, at the beginning, he freezes everybody, like in a long sleep, puts everybody into a coma. Everybody, that is, bar the three wizards. Zendal, Krasmont and Maidar. And when they come to the realisation that Evelyn has turned bad, they knew they had to pull together to try and bring balance back to Wizard's Kingdom. So they went on a journey to meet up and they had to pull all their resources together and try and overthrow Evelyn. And this is where the story really takes off. Now, there there is another character in the background that's forever hovering there. And I'll I'll be elaborating on that character on my next podcast. Uh, His name is Loof the Catchit. Now, in the Harry Potter series, you've got Dobby. In Lord of the Rings, you've got Gollum. These strange little creatures that seem to keep the story afloat. Uh, with comedy and with seriousness and with magic. And in my story, which all authors, they do pinch a little bit here and there, but they create their own and and put their own stamp on a story. 
And so Luther Catchett is part of that, which I'll explain in the next podcast.